All right. Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Hideaway Hills Club December 13th, 2022 Management Committee meeting. Um, before we really get started, I did want to just say that um, as we come up, um, you know, into the Christmas holiday season here, um, big thank you to all of our employees out there and, and everybody that volunteers out here, but really our employees for um, what they do for the club every every day. Uh, it's very much appreciated by by everybody here, and uh, wish all of them and their families a very merry Christmas and a happy New Year. Um, so tonight, uh, meeting we're going to go through a couple project updates here. This should just take um, a few minutes to get through that. We'll go through the financials briefly, and then get into the main part, which is going to be review of the 2023 budget, which. Um, at the end of the meeting, we should be uh, agreeing to submit that to the board uh, for their approval and moving forward. So um, the first project update is the RFID gate. Yeah. So make sure I speak loud in here. A um, little bit update on the RFID um, project update. Um, we've had our vendor uh, contractor about several times, uh, especially with the remote gates. And uh, we do have some connectivity issues with the internet. Um, that has been a, a problem because uh, it's not only running our, our gates, it's also running the cameras uh, that are located in those locations as well. Uh, and then we're also uh, realizing that there are some vehicles that have lower profile, that are a little more lower profile. Uh, so the beam or the sensor uh, has trouble detecting that RFID tag, uh, or if it's a high profile vehicle like a truck and stuff too. We've done many tests back and forth. And um, so we're, we're working on the problem. Uh, I haven't had any, probably within the last two weeks, really any complaints about it, um, but uh, we are working diligently to come up with a resolution. Um, and then also um, when it comes to our kind of our inclement weather uh, policy, especially for the Northwest Gate, Fort Hill Gate. Um, we are, we're gonna be monitoring the weather. Uh, anytime that we have some snowfall or an ice event, we will keep that gate open. Um, so we don't have any accidents. Um, I know that some people are like, you know, we want that gate closed and secure community, but um, we don't want any accidents either. And people slide down the hill. Um, so I'll make that call uh, along with our maintenance and our security team. Uh, and uh, we'll go from there with it. Um, I, I guess just a question, you, uh, kind of along the lines of the connectivity issues with Spectrum yeah. and the internet connection there. I know that you've had discussions with with Spectrum, and we've had multiple, multiple different accounts with them that range yeah. from residential to business to enterprise, and so it's just yeah. a, um, a hodgepodge of of things there, and and that we're working to clean that up, and, and I. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you, I think that some of that will give us better support from Spectrum. Um, it'll kind of streamline everything and make us more efficient. Yeah, yeah. let me go into that a little bit um, and update on our Spectrum account. Uh, like Marty said, um, I was on the phone an hour and a half with uh, with Spectrum uh, one time, just trying to get the, our account uh, settled at the clubhouse so we had internet and TV. And uh, after being transferred seven times. Um, they finally got me a ticket or two tickets and we got that issue resolved. Um, I've been working with our account representative from Spectrum Enterprise, which is kind of, there's many different companies within Spectrum as you're aware. Um, and if we can get it all under enterprise, all our accounts on enterprise, then we'll have faster service, uh, not internet service, but well, yeah, I guess we would, we'd have fiber. Um, but we would have um, just a, uh, if we if we put in a ticket, then they can follow up with it with their manager and so forth to get us faster service. So I meet on a weekly basis with our account representative. Um, right now he's doing a what's called a site survey um, of our accounts. So we have some Spectrum Enterprise accounts. We have other business accounts and a couple of residential accounts too. So we're trying to clean that up, and uh, we have a meeting tomorrow again to see where we are on, the, on that survey so they can better help us. So um, that's part of our issue that we're. That we're dealing with. Okay. Um, okay. Thank you. Anybody have any questions on the RFID? Okay. Um, the North Park silt trap, I guess I can 
kind of start off on that one. Um, so we've got a contractor out there, started a little over a week ago with cleaning that out, um, getting a bunch of the muck out and it's making some good progress. Um, I haven't been up there this week yet to look at it last time I was up there Friday. Um, I know that we had initially approved $6,900 for the clean out on that. And then we did have an email and the e-vote on there to up that budget to uh, 15,000. Um, it looks like right now we're probably going to get at about 10,000 is where that's going to come in at. Um, but he's, he's had to move a lot more dirt than what was estimated, which was good. Uh, the more we can get out of there, the better. Uh, we are going to have to look at how we clean that out the next time, probably try to do something in the summer and get something bigger so that we can fully get out the big pond over there by the dam. Um, so. Kind of bit there. Uh, anybody have any questions? Um, <clears throat> the lodge electrical, uh, lodge building electrical project. Uh, and just again, just to be sure that this is for this, the electric fee to this whole building here, not just the restaurant. Um, and we're still in the procurement phase of that. You know, again, engineering is done, board it approved somewhere around, I think, 95,000 for the material, they're still in the process of getting that, uh, waiting for things to come in. It's starting to, to come into their shop and they should be sending over an invoice this month um, for most of the material so that we can get that paid in 2022. And then once, once we get the bigger pieces fully here, we'll go ahead and submit for the uh, permits and get started uh, on that work. Uh, holding off on the permits right now because once you submit for the permit, it gets approved. Clock is ticking, and we don't want to burn that while we're waiting for parts to show up. And there was quite a bit of lead time for some yeah. of those things. So yeah. that's good to know. Anybody else? Uh, any questions? All right. Um, financials? Yeah, so um, if they could share. Uh, Linda, could you share a sheet? Um, which which one, Andy? What what I've got capital. four files. Which one? Capital, and then we'll do depreciation. Okay, capital coming. Do you have it? Can you uh, zoom in a little bit more? Actually, really small. You want it bigger? Yes, please. Okay, that's good. Okay. Tell me when to scroll down. Okay. Um, so if we look at our capital expense, um, and I'm just gonna look at the, the, the top portion here. Um, we didn't really have any expenditures uh, in the month of, of November. Um, we did have one in December, but it's not shown on the sheet. It's like $600 uh, capital expense for our management software. We're exporting some stuff. But right now we're at a balance of 507 887 And if you look down our sheet, what we've purchased um, throughout the year so far with the RFID uh, gate system, backup pump for irrigation, um, Lodge electrical improvements, uh, let's see, management software, and uh, deep paving. Uh, so those are the purchase items too. You can see it's a it's 112, uh, 667. Uh, things that we've committed for the year uh, are actually that remaining balance for the RFID gate systems. It's not right. It's in 2022. Oh, the estimated cost. It is right. We still have 76 dollars. Yeah, and retainage. Um, and then so we're we're at committed funds of 93,558. Uh, and then we don't have any, not doing any proposed funds for the golf course that would go into 2023, if and when we decided to do it. Um, so right now we're looking at. Um, Pretty healthy balance, um, estimated balance at the end of the year of 434. We wanted to have a balance for 305. 
Um, we'll talk a little bit more about capital uh, expenditures. I don't want to talk about budget. So the one thing though, we do need to move the uh, North Cove, uh, North Park up from 2023 to 2022. Yes, yes we do. And that is in that's in 2023 planning. Yes. Yes. Okay. And then you can see in, in 23-3 planning in 2024 planning, um, we had about management software. And we talked about moving the, uh, the uh, North Park Cove um, up and then got golf course and so forth. So these are these are things that we're looking at. Um, they're not totally committed yet, uh, other than the management software. Uh, but as we talk about the budgets and stuff too, we'll, we'll decide you know, where we plug those in. Any questions on the, on the uh, capital account? Okay, if you could go to Linda, the depreciation, please. <clears throat> Give me one second. Got it? No, nothing there yet. It's not there? No. Let me go back. There we go. If you just uh, zoom in a little bit. Yes, I'm zooming now. Got it? Yes, thank you. So in our depreciation, um, right now we have a, um, a balance as of uh, 1130 of 418,654. Um, we do have committed funds of $12,200. Um, I don't see it on the sheet. Any case, um, again, another healthy balance, and we're going to talk about a little bit more about depreciation, um, and what we should do for next year. Uh, we've got some ideas based around our 23 budget, um, how we want to do this, but we we do have a, a year end balance, estimated balance of 456, if 544, uh, which gives us about a contingency of 155, $156,000. You can see the, the purchase um, things here. I did have a meeting with uh, Rick and with Elmer uh, regarding uh, depreciation, so everybody's aware. Um, and we kind of took it at a different angle. Um, we looked at you know what we have purchased, what we need to purchase according to this issue here. Um, but we also looked on what do we need, you know, not so much what do we want, but what do we need. And what needs to be replaced now, or or within the next two years? Uh, and so we we started making a new equipment list, and then working off our old equipment and stuff too. So actually giving them a budget amount to say this is a budget amount you have to spend for the year, and when it comes to depreciation, and um, help them learn to budget that you know that money uh, throughout the year, not just spend it all in January and then you don't have nothing. Um, and they were they were very open to that. Um, but we're really talking together about what equipment do we need to be safe, to be secure, to replace you know some of our fleet items and equipment that's that's just been hanging on. You know? yeah. So um, <clears throat> those are probably the biggest things when it comes to depreciation. But we're going to discuss more um, about how we should go about it. Are you pretty? Comfortable with the future deposits. I am. Okay. So yeah. That we haven't funded that 
Yeah. Like if you know, if you start at the one of four eighteen, that still is we got fifty. Okay, we're coming. Okay, good. So um where's that second fairway mower? We don't oh, yeah. we, we have talked to and left messages with them and they still don't find that hurt. Okay. So Okay. You good? All right, thanks. Um, so let's move on then to the uh, 2023 operating capital and depreciation budget um, to prepare for the presentation for, for the board. Are you able to pull up um, the thing I sent you earlier, just with the um, breakdown of the income and expenses? What, which one is that called, Julie? It's the HAH highlights. Budget highlights, yep. All right, let me get that. The highlights. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so, what I did on this um, spreadsheet was just kind of look up and said, okay, let's see where we, where our income is coming from. Like, what percentage of our income comes from various sources, as well as on the expense side, where, what percentage of our expenses or where are they going? So basically where are we spending our incomes? <laughs> um, so if we look at the income, you'll see that majority of our income, almost 70, almost close to 75%, um, or actually closer to, 80%, it comes from our assessments and our um, new member fee. This year, a total of our income is only going to go up roughly 3%. And that's due to the fact that you know we have the cap of 5% on um, our assessments every year. And we don't anticipate that our new member fees are going or are, are going to go down. So um, they'll go down about 26% compared to what they were the year before. Just again, housing market slowing down. So we, um, and to, you know, things to know. Now, on the other hand, as you all are probably very well aware, that we've had quite a bit of inflation. So our inflation is at a, what about 8.2% is what it's been. Um, with that in mind, you know, there's a gap. There's a gap, <laughs> there's a gap there. Um, so what we've done this year, one, um, again, I kind of say kudos, not to myself, but to other folks who have been managed, you know, on management and board and all of us with our committees and people volunteering and pitching in to get things done. We have uh, been able or able to move some funds forward. In particular, our capital budget, as Andy had just said, in our depreciation budget are, are really healthy. We've been funding them very strong and um, been very wise as to what we've, where we've been spending those funds. Um, and we decided, we kind of, as we were looking at everything when we first put this together, our thoughts were, you know, we have open positions in particular in security. Um, and we have some positions um, that are well below um, what they should be. What, what they could go out and get a job. So kind of to secure our employees that we have, that we have, and also, again, make sure that we are uh, getting our security up where we need to be, um, we would focus on, you know, our payroll. Um, 
So when I say that, one of the things we, we looked at doing was we said, you know, our capital fund, um, if we fund it at the dollar amount that we did for 2022, um, and we have 369,000 proposed projects for capital next year, if we were to spend all of that and keep the funding um, dollar amount at the same as we have for 2022, that leaves us um, with about $35,000 lower than what we always kind of target, which we have this in our mind that we wanna end, always keep like 300 in there. That would put us a little bit lower by about 35,000. But again, that's a number that we just use, we have there for if there were anything contingency that we would have funds to spend. Then on the depreciation side, we looked and said, you know, that's very healthy. And if we don't fund it this year, and we have projected expenditures of 115,000, we would end the year 2023 with a balance in our depreciation budget of $303,000, which again is about 3,000 over what we would have, uh, what we kind of aimed for, which is again, $300,000. Um, so those are kind of the big highlights for the budget this year. Um, and if we look at our expenses on this sheet there, we look at the expenses, the major expenses that we have for next year are, are our payroll, which is about almost 60% of our expenses go to payroll. And that's pretty much in line with what we have budgeted in years prior, as well as what we have come, you know, actual have, have been this year. So um, kind of a sanity check was like, okay, that you know, we're, we didn't go crazy anywhere. Um, but again, as most budgets are, your um, payroll is the major um, thing there. Coming second to that is, you got a lot of one, 2% here and there, but again, it's still the funding of the capital is the next highest for, will be for 2023. So, question. I didn't know. No, it's just good. good. I, like, I like the way you broke that out with the good, good idea of where things are going. Um, <clears throat> Appreciation too. Uh, after talking with Rick and I started talking with Elmer, and um, you know, obviously we're looking at our equipment and stuff too. You know, have we looked at if we didn't to back up if we didn't um, contribute to the funds next year for 23 and the depreciation? Um, you said we would be at a, a certain amount. We'd still be at a healthy right. Um, if we did, however, um, add into our depreciation, um, but not the same amount that we did for 23, maybe we don't do it for the first two months, three months, and then we put in 5,000, put in whatever amount that we think we need. Um, I just don't want us to get to a point where we're not, uh, we're not funding depreciation, we should be, um, because we do have a lot of equipment that is old. Um, it's on its last leg. So, it, yeah. So my, my thought there is, um, yes, yeah, as we move through the year and we see things coming differently, we could do that. But the other thing is if the things you're talking about, they need to, they, we need to have them on the list yeah. and they, we need to know what those are. Um, so if they're on the list now as projected projects for 2023, that's all accounted for. If there's other things that we think 
we need to replace, we're going to need to replace next year, we need to get them on the list. And I think too that we can go through that continue with the priority. What is it that, that we need? Right. Within a dollar amount. That right. We need to raise. And I think that's doable. Yeah. Um, so I just wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. That. I mean, I think that's, you know, because we are still short $8,700. <laughs> but that's pretty good. Yeah. So, but I mean, that's pretty close. And I think with uh, working through some other things, we can get there. So it, it's really going to be. If we spend it here, you know, do we have to take it away from somewhere else, you know, or do we have to get it, you know, where will we get it from? So I think those are all the questions as we move through. Um, and the other thing that I'm going to take a quick look at, and like I said, we'll send this to the board, but um, I want to take a look at and say, okay, so let's go in very, very high level to 2024 and just kind of look and say, okay, because we're going to have to fund the depreciation and capital again in 2020. We won't, we won't necessarily have that luxury. We may, but if we do that, what are we kind of looking at? So just, you know, just to make sure we're not like kind of put ourselves in any position where we're good this year, but we get to 2024 and you know, yeah, we can't that we have some, you know, I just want to make sure that that makes sense. And I'll send that out to the board, just a quick synopsis, I'm not going to go into detail, but just kind of here's what it would look like. Okay. So, um, yeah, we have to be careful because <laughs> we can't kick the can down the road. Exactly. Uh, that's what got some trouble before right i would um, agree so on your on your write-up um yeah. you make a comment about overtime yes and then, so what do we have in there for storm and emergency type response yeah what i did um this what i did in this last round was i said i said you know what we probably are not going to be able to fill some of these security positions. So I went ahead and moved them out that we probably wouldn't hire them to March, April. I said, okay, so you're gonna have those funds, but you're, we're, gonna comp we're gonna have to do overtime to fill that need. And I put that amount in and a little bit more for, um, or like in the winter months that we need maintenance. So there's some funds, I put some in there. When I sent this out, I didn't have any. But it, it kind of puts our, the thing, especially in um, our security is it's critical that we hire because we're, you know, we're utilizing overtime at this point to fill those open shifts. And that's at 1.5 times what you would pay somebody to come in at. We talked about that over the day. Yeah. So said, hey, we, we need to really look at that. Like, realistically, if you look at the trends, you know, we probably won't be able to hire. I mean, we could, but more than likely, we're not going to hire some security wise until probably March. Yeah. If we had some like four people and said, hey, we want to start tomorrow, that's great. Yeah. That helps our budget, but being realistic here. Yeah. I mean, I do think it kind of says to all of us, we just need to come, you know, that has to be a critical, that has to be a critical focus is that, you know, we need to get the security. You know, whatever, you know, whatever, any ideas out there, <laughs> whatever we do, that is something we need to, to focus on. Yeah, and I think we need to, as, as we go through this year, to still be creative in cost savings. Um, I mean, because as, as you see, you know, not, not being able to fund the, uh, the depreciation on, yeah. you know, with, replenish the money that we're spending um, is something that we can't sustain. And, yeah, exactly. You know, so that's 
we, we have to be creative in what we do. Right. Like I said, I'll do just a quick thing just to say here's we're going to have to begin funding it 2024, yep. both capital and depreciation. So. All right. I think I saw John and Bob. You guys have any comments on this? Um, yeah, this is John. Um, uh, I think one thing to remember is that when you look at equipment repair replacement, um, you know, over the next 12 months, um, we still have allowed for that those replacements repairs um, to happen, just not at a fully funded level. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 Money, right. I mean, the money is there to take care of what we have listed on projects. So it's not Correct. like it's there. It's just, it, and it's come from past years and carrying over in the funding over the past years and what we've been able to not, you know, save over the past years out of those funds. So. Correct. And, and then also the other, the other comment slash question is when you look at those floor levels of $300,000 plus for each one of those categories, um, we actually are retaining the cash value so that if there was an emergency, we could feasibly replace that equipment um, and go into that reserve, correct? Correct. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, okay. yeah that's kind of what it's there for. Right, exactly. Okay, that was it. Okay. Bob was out there, wasn't he? Yeah. Um, what I would say to back to the appreciation too, when we looked at these um, different pieces of equipment and so forth, some of these figures are, they haven't been updated, like they're estimated um, costs. So like, let's say for instance, uh, we had an F-150 that we had to replace. Um, and we had $40,000 in it. Well, it might've been $40,000. So we're also looking at that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So again, I think those are the things we need to be really crisp on. You know, so if if we know that we're not going to get, you know, a handheld radio for forty-one thousand, because it, then we need to update that to the correct amount. And, that, and that's why I asked. You know, we asked about leasing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when we look at that. Um, for some, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Any comments? Questions? I just have to commend Julie and, and John and Andy and staff for, for putting this budget together. I mean, you can look at it, look at all these numbers, and the one thing that just sticks out to me is, you know, we're looking for the 5% increase and in inflation is 8.5. So we start 2.5 the whole to begin with. Right. Actually, even more than that. Well, yeah, I'm just saying basic numbers and stuff. Yeah, I know how you can play there. Yeah, but yeah, you're for right. you guys to put this together is really kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did along those lines. I did some quick, quick math, you know, back in the far napkin thing. And if we got, if we were able to get the extra three percent on the assessment, we wouldn't have any issues. Right? Yeah, 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 we'd be, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's right. It's you can definitely just in the past, I mean, three to four months, look at what the price of things have gone up, and we tried to build saying not on the full year. But to say, okay, the beginning of the year didn't have inflation. It's more reflective of what's going to happen next year is the last three months. And trying to make sure we're building that in there, not just an average over what the past year was. So. And I would have to say, I have to commend everybody in the management, including the board and our staff, too. Um, so we're, uh, it, it's, Everybody's going through this. You know, everybody's going through budget calculation and so forth, and a healthy wage for individuals and stuff too. So I commend everybody just taking a hard look at it. And we've we've had what probably five meetings in the last month, maybe even more, just to kind of going over this bit by bit by bit. So I, I do appreciate the management really taking this on. Okay. Um, I guess with that, um, do we? Want to take a vote here quickly on uh, we want to present this to the board. I'll make a motion. Perfect. Then it is.
Okay, so we've got a motion that will present the budget as is to the board. A second. We've got a second. Yeah. I, okay. Yeah. All right. And then all those in favor? Aye. John, did aye. you want to vote? Aye. Sure. I'll vote. Aye. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Looks like it's going forward. We'll all, uh, Julie, if we can get this uh, packaged up and then I'll forward it out yeah. to the board. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, I don't know if we really need to go into the open positions. I think we kind of covered that through the budget um, and over the list, and, and they'll be in the management committee report. Um, food service update. AJ? There's nothing really to update with the brewery this month. Hopefully, next month we'll be able to really uh, have something to present to the membership. Okay. Okay. Good deal. JJ, do we want to talk about the extension? Talking about schedule for the system. I don't know. We're going to talk about it here, or we're going to talk to Tricia and Aaron about it. Um, and then we'll get a blast out there as soon as we can. There is breakfast with Santa this weekend. Um, anybody who wants to make reservations can do so at FB manager at hahclub.net. That's Trickas. We have three seatings, nine, 10, and 11. Uh, and there's going to be a blast going out explaining uh, the 17th is actually going to be holiday in the hills. We'll have some events, like I said, in the morning, uh, breakfast with Santa. The afternoon, we'll have uh, some lunch specials at the clubhouse. And then back here at night, uh, Joe Williams is going to be our guest bartender. And we're looking to do a couple other little things, just make it a whole day of it. So it's something that we're uh, we're putting together. We'll get a blast out hopefully by tomorrow. Okay, good, good, thank you. All right. Um, I think the only e vote we had that we we talked about was the uh, increasing uh, the amount of money for Grundish for the North Cove cleanout. Um, I guess uh, on the new business, John, do you have anything? No, I, I don't think I do. Okay. Anybody else? Andy? No? You know, I just I have okay. one thing that I want to do, you know, I'm going to double check with Ginger. Um, somebody had mentioned, and I apologize, I don't look at the FF. <laughs> I get glimpsed at a couple of things that maybe we have not been posting. Some of the financials have not been listed on the, in the echo. Has anybody noticed or not? I, yeah, I mean, I look at them so much that I don't even, I wouldn't have. Well, anyway, I'm gonna follow up to, somebody had mentioned that to me. So I will follow up to find out if, and so that is the case. Uh, if it is, and it was something on my end that I was supposed to be doing and I didn't, I'm sorry, but I'll get it out no, there as soon. Yeah. I'll get it out as soon as possible. But somebody had mentioned, so I'll find out what's okay. been out there, and I just want to let folks know that I heard you. <laughs> I heard. No, that's that's a good point. Thanks yeah. for for reminding. Yeah, that was kind of yeah. one of those items that was sitting there, like, hey, we got to get back to doing something like that. Yeah, yeah, and it, they've been there. And I I guess I just had always assumed. Yeah. that it still was there i just and, didn't notice. and just a reminder to you know all the members out there right all the financials are available for you to look at um you just need to contact um you contact anybody at a management committee we'll get you yeah. in touch with somebody in the office and and get that for you so and if there are any questions yeah. you know we're all available um yeah. to ask them Hi, I was the one that inquired about that. Oh, okay. People good. kept asking me, and I, I had no idea. But, you know, it used to be in the echo years ago. I think I, it was just recently. I don't know. Well, I see the, the bank the bank account balances yes. and the capital and the depreciation, but I don't see the breakdown like you've got it like that. Which yeah. was an excellent. That was an excellent. Uh, uh, yeah, um, somebody mentioned it to me, and I was like, Yeah. And so oh, when I, talk, I mentioned it to Penny, I asked him, and like, so are we, like, how do we, are we posting this? So they had talked about doing that, and then I never saw them. So that's my understanding is that they're going to be going okay. on to the website, which is wonderful. Okay. Well, 
All right, more to come. You'll, they'll be there somewhere. <laughs> and we'll let you know where. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, uh, anybody, anybody else want to bring anything here? We're kind of done with our agenda business. If there's anything else? No? Okay. All right. Well, with that, um, again, thanks to our staff. Excellent job this year. Thank you for everything you've done and all the membership. Have a happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy yeah. New Year, or whatever you guys are celebrating. And enjoy it and uh, get with family and friends and have some fun. So thanks, everybody. Meetings adjourned.